Welcome to the talk about GCSE Fine Art. Over this talk, I'll explain to you what GCSE Fine Art is, what you'll learn, and what will be expected of you over the course. So what is GCSE Fine Art? GCSE Fine Art is a course in which you'll investigate and experiment with a wide variety of art materials, techniques, and processes. You'll research the work of artists, and you'll experiment with design ideas in the pursuit of creating a personal and meaningful final piece. Over the course, you'll produce two portfolios of work. For the first one, you will choose your own theme, hopefully something you'll be excited about, engaged with, and you'll develop your observational skills. So you'll develop your drawing skills, you'll take photographs, and then you'll experiment with the formal elements of art in order to create some exciting work. You're going to develop your knowledge of a wide variety of art materials, some that you might choose to master or you might use a variety of different ones. You're going to develop your skills to investigate and analyse and experiment with work. You're going to develop your imagination skills. You'll develop your research skills and you'll find your place within the art world. What's your work going to be like? And you'll learn how to produce a personal, meaningful response. So skills you will definitely have a go at. Everybody will develop their drawing skills. Drawing skills is a huge part of GCSE art. You will also learn how to paint, be that with acrylic or watercolours or tempera. You'll have a go with pen and ink, so thinking about fine liner drawings and developing those skills. You'll use a wide variety of mixed media in the pursuit of creating meaning behind your work. You'll have a go at collage work and everybody will have a go at designing in order to create exciting final pieces. You might decide that you want to go down a more digital graphical route and you use the computers to develop your work as well. You might use more marker pens or you might decide you want to work in a more 3D way, developing your sculptural skills using wire or clay or paper. You might want to work in relief, so making something look feel more 3D on a flat plane. Or you might even decide you want to create installation work. These might be up to you and we're happy to facilitate this kind of work. The course is broken down into two components. Component one is your coursework and this is worth 60% of your overall GCSE grade. Your coursework project will start in year nine and it will end at Christmas of year 11. You will choose your theme, so it'll be something that you're excited about and you want to investigate. And you will take photographs, you'll produce drawings, you'll look at artists who deal with this theme, and then experiment with a wide variety of media and design ideas in order to create a final piece. Component two is 40% of your course. And this is called the externally set assignment. It's a smaller project that starts in January of year 11 and ends in April of year 11. This time, the exam board for us, which is Edexcel, will give us a theme. It's usually very open and you can do a huge amount with it. So you can make it very personal. But here you will then have this short amount of time to produce a smaller project. Again, taking photographs, producing drawings, looking at artist research, experimenting with media, producing design ideas. But this time you will make your final piece in a 10 hour exam. That's two full days in the art room working on this piece of work. Here's a breakdown of those two projects. So in year nine, we'll start off with a basic GCSE project that will link all the way through into a big coursework project through year 11, where you really investigate your chosen theme. And then in year 11, you have a second project, which is the ESA. There will be an opportunity at the start of year nine to purchase a portfolio and a set of equipment that will help you throughout these projects. So each project is broken down into these components. You will choose your theme. You will take photographs. You will do drawings from those photographs. And we call those records of observations. You will do artist research of artists that you are interested in that link with your theme or use techniques that you like. You will then do media experiments that link with your theme, expressing meaning through the use of materials that you choose. And you'll use create design ideas to then produce your final piece. 
both of your projects are assessed in the same way. So 25% of your marks will be your artist research and how they, you use those in your development of your ideas. 25% is your experimentation with media and how you use that in your final piece and your ideas. 25% are so your records from observations, your drawings, your photographs, and your design ideas, and how they all link together. And 25% is your final piece. So how will this help you in your next steps? Well, there are hundreds of jobs out there that link with the creative industries, and I've just put a few here on the screen. You might decide to continue on with further education and carry on to do an A-level in fine art or an A-level in art and design. You might decide to do a BTEC diploma in art and design and media practice. But whatever you choose to do, you will have two portfolios of work that you can take to any interview that will prove your ability and dedication. And this will be great if you decide to apply for an apprenticeship. Good luck.